Hi, I'm Kenneth Squires, and I was going to talk a little bit about what to look for when you're buying a, a finished horse. And w when you go to buy a finished horse, that's what he is. If it's a fix-it project, kind of horse that has some problems that need fixing, you don't need to pay for them like they're fixed already. And, and if you're looking for an upper echelon horse that is NFR quality, he's going to have a record. But he's going to have some things about him that, that may need to be tended to. That's okay if he needs to have his hocks injected occasionally. I can't imagine a horse that goes a million miles that would need a little bit of help like that to keep his joints right or uh, they'll have certain things to take care of him a certain way. And always look for somebody you can trust on honesty. There's a lot of people in this world that, that will tell you what that horse needs. If they love him enough and they sell him to you, they want to see him do well with you. That it, know that you're dealing with that kind of person and, and that they want the horse to do well with you. They want, and the horse needs to fit you. He can't just be a horse that has a nice record and a good set of papers and a real good hand trained him or, or owns him and is one on him. You got to get on him and ride him. And boy, well, okay, there's some things you can forgive if the horse jigs a little bit, but he's supposed to be, but he's solid. That horse has a good mouth. He listens to you and you run in there and everything feels right. Well, then he's worth the money. And if you're waiting for something to come around, there's something you really don't like, and it's basic, like, for instance, if you don't want to ride a stud or a mare, don't go buy a stud or a mare and think that everything's going to be good. <laughs> it's usually you're not going to love them as much as if you'd have went and bought what you really wanted. If you like riding gildings, go find the one you like. And, and if always... When you buy a horse from somebody, find out what they do to keep that horse working. What his background is, how you go slow work him, how he likes to be warmed up, how much you have to ride him to keep him in shape. And if he needs some runs, if you've had a little layoff, how many runs they think it'll be till that horse is sharp again. But it, 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 it really does, it helps to know that that horse, and the younger they are, the more they need a comfort zone to go back to the way they were raised, the way they were broke and trained. And you don't have to do everything exactly the same, but if you feel like you're, you're flustering your horse a little bit and he's a little confused, call someone who's, who's got a good background with that horse. If you buy a horse from someone like that, they should be able to tell you what it is to take that horse back to where he's comfortable. And, and, and then you can start over and, and try to, that horse, Things get flustered. A lot of times someone gives to a lot of money for a horse and they think that that horse is going to be everything they thought. But there's transitional times and, and you go through different things. Sometimes you buy a horse that is a, not broke to go to the rodeo, uh, not ready for the rodeos yet. So you buy him knowing that's what you're going to do. Well, that's like starting over for that horse. He's doing something he's never done before with a new person on him. He doesn't know how much you paid for him. So he's just an animal and it's just you and him to him. He doesn't, he doesn't get frustrated because he knows you gave a lot of money for him and things aren't working out. Just be patient and, and ride it out with them and, and just always deal with reputable people. And if you're not dealing with reputable people, know that horse. If it's a horse you've been waiting and looking for and you think you know everything about him, if you get on him and it feels right, it's the thing to do. Vet check them. Vet check your horses. It, it, it's, there's nothing worse than the feeling of knowing that you've got out there, you bought this horse, you love him, it's the great thing to do, it looked like everything was fine on him. And then you go and you find out at the vet a few months later that there was something that cropped up. Hell, that owner may not have even known about it, the, the person who sold it to you. It might have been something they didn't know about, but if you'd have done a good thorough vet check, you feel like you covered all your bases, and I, I think that's a must. And it doesn't mean that you have to nitpick a horse to death. It just means that it, they're going to show you that you have a little longevity. You can find a little something that, that needs fixing if you want that horse bad enough. And I've wanted them that bad before. Anyway, I, I think that's a, it's a good thing. It's a, if you want them bad enough, go for it, but try to, 
try to do everything as sensible as you can when you buy one.